there's no future in Sabaton. He probably most likely thought like, man, this is not really working out. Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. And today we have a quick news update because a couple of days ago, the one and only, and I really mean this, the one and only, one and only, with a voice like an angel, but very powerful, Tommy Johansson, ex Sabaton member, yes, I have to say it now, left the band. Now the news came with a kind of a surprise shock wave because everybody was not expecting this. However, if you think about it and if I think about it and I thought about it, then it might make sense. So stay tuned. Tommy Johansson was born in 1987, actually the 26th of October in 1987. So exactly my year of birth in Sweden. He's been a musician for, I mean, for a long time, not just when it comes to playing the guitar, multi-instrumentalist, great singer, as I said earlier, but also featured in leading many, many bands. One of those bands, of course, Majestica as well. Other people might also know Narnia. So he has been in many projects his whole life. That is the first thing that we have to, you know, pay attention to. I would like to say that up front because this is very important. Um, if you want to investigate or if you want to think about the reasons why he might have left Sabaton. If we head over to the actual news outlet that Sabaton shared, it says after seven amazing years in the band, yes, Tommy Johansson was only, only seven years in the band. He's not a founding member. Many people think he's a founding member. He's not. He was with the band seven years. Now, this is going to be interesting because this is one of the key factors, I think, uh, why this might have been a solution for him, reason for him to leave the band. It furthermore says our guitar player Tommy has decided to leave Sabaton to pursue his own path. We wish him nothing but the best on his journey. So do we, so do I. We have been a close family and we will continue to support him in the adventures that await him in the future. Now, when I read this, number one, I thought, man, that's pretty refreshing, very positive, especially knowing that in the last couple of months, years, a lot of bands, and when I say a lot of bands, almost every band had a very negative departure of some members in the band. I mean, this is maybe the first one, again, in a long time, that is pretty positive and on good terms. So that's very, very good. Now, when it comes to his departure, this is what I thought. Many of you don't know this. Many of you do know it. He started his own YouTube channel, I think at this point, maybe two years ago, and it grew pretty, pretty fast. And all the covers, all the collaborations that he did on those channels were received well. Everybody liked it. So that's one of the things that we have to put aside already. He had all of a sudden this tremendous big success on YouTube, which of course at the same time also takes a lot of time. He was recording, I think every week or releasing at least every week a video. At the same time, he's touring with Sabaton. So there's going to be a conflict of interest when it comes to uh, the timing, the shooting. He cannot shoot when he's on tour, at least not the way he used to do. So that's already something where he probably most likely thought like, man, this is not really working out. It's hard to handle both machines. Of course, Sabaton. Being one of the biggest bands, definitely biggest export bands from Sweden with a crazy lineup, touring all over the place, that was his passion. That is his passion. He likes to perform no matter if it's in Sabaton and other bands. But of course, at the same time, if you are all of a sudden by your own and you create something yourself, I mean, even I right now doing this YouTube channel, you see things in a different perspective and what you're doing becomes your baby. Keep in mind, he joined Sabaton seven years ago. He's not a founding member, so I don't know too much, but when you join a band, very often you are seen as an employee, as a, well, almost like hired gun. Back in the day, they used to term hired gun for bands. So you might be getting uh, not enough or not that much uh, when it comes to your salary. I'm not sure about Sabaton. I'm just saying that in a general term, that might be another thing that contributed to his decision because at one point he will most likely realize okay i'm doing this side project let's just take right now youtube for an example and i'm gaining this 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 and this is really working and it's growing but on the other hand i'm in sabaton and maybe hypothetically i don't know this maybe this is not really growing for me there's no future in sabaton for me if that would be what Tommy thought, I don't know. So without talking too much in this video, I think, this is just my own opinion right now, that the YouTube channel, once it took off, really made him think, you know what? I wanna really right now concentrate on what I can do by myself, do of course different collaborations, maybe even join other bands, because again, he has different projects in the back, even another thing, and see where this takes me, because Sabaton 
my future with Sabaton might not be the future that I would like to have for myself. I think this might be one of the main reasons that he had. And a good example is actually using something from a different field. For example, professional sports. If you have somebody being in one team for a long time, once they hit like a certain age, they think, you know what? Let me see what I can do in a different team. Not just monetarily, of course, yes. If the, if the salary is better, that's normally number one reason why a sports or professional sports uh, athlete changes teams, of course. But sometimes it's also about the experience. You know, you want to end your career on a high note. You want to have a different resume. So I think that's also another topic and another reason maybe why he thought, you know what? Right now I'm on my peak. This is the time to leave the band on good terms. Very important on good terms. So to sum up the whole video, I think it's just a matter of timing. I think he thought right now I should do this. There's no bad blood. Nothing happened in the band. I don't think anything was being you know, hidden from him or he was treated in a bad way. I'm pretty sure this didn't happen. It's just really a matter of personal perspective, personal, you know, personal goals, personal futures. That's really what went into this decision, I'm sure. And definitely also because, as I said earlier, number one reason, I think, the YouTube channel. Let me know what you think, what happened. Let me know if you agree with the reasons that I just mentioned. Until then, man, make sure to follow him. Make sure to follow Sabaton. Both amazing projects, amazing bands, amazing performers. Man, this band is going to be here to stay. I wish Sabaton all the best. And of course, Tommy Johansson, definitely here to stay, but also here to grow because his channel, woo! It's going through the roof. Take care. See you next time. Subscribe. Stay tuned.